got some advice here for you today on how to become hated. How you can stir up resentments and ill will that will simmer and hang on for years. All you have to do is criticize. No matter what a person has done or how he lives his life, he doesn't want nor does he feel he needs criticism. This is why a criminal can fly into a rage against witnesses, prosecuting attorneys and judges. Although he may have committed the most serious crime and knows full well that he's committed it, he deeply resents those who by their actions are critical of him. The unfaithful husband or wife will, as often as not, fly into wounded self-pitying rage when confronted with evidence of his or her infidelity. Now, I'm not saying that people should not be criticized for criminal or moral misconduct, but I am saying that criticism makes a person try to justify himself. It wounds his precious pride, hurts his sense of importance, and thoroughly abuses and arouses his resentment against the person who, or persons, doing the criticizing. When we criticize another person, we set ourselves above him. We become the figure of authority and place the other person in an inferior position. He automatically, well, he doesn't like us. We put the other person on the defensive, and even if he doesn't say anything and accepts the criticism meekly, it rankles. When the husband at the bridge table says to his wife, well, my dear, you bid that hand like a certified moron, she might not say anything. She might not say anything at the moment, that is, but she'll secretly pray for a miracle that would deliver a sawed-off shotgun into her hands. The other players squirm in embarrassment, and what does it accomplish? As Junius wrote, it behooves the minor critic who hunts for blemishes to be a little distrustful of his own sagacity. The best rule to use when criticism springs to your mind is to wait. Wait a while and try to look for the reasons behind the act you would criticize. It's also a good time to ask oneself, who am I to be criticizing others? Am I really all that great and pure and all-knowing and perfect? By all means, wait until the heat of anger is dissipated. This is one of the world's most difficult things to do, and it takes a very mature person to master the wisdom and self-control to withhold criticism. But it's the way to greatness and one of the best-known ways to earn the respect and or love of others. People know when they've done something wrong or foolish, and they usually know that you know it too. And when you refrain from being critical, they're grateful. They respect you. Often as not, they'll be much tougher on themselves and make a concerted effort to avoid making the same mistake again. It's been said that the legitimate aim of criticism is to direct attention to the excellent. The bad will dig its own grave and the imperfect may safely be left to that final neglect from which no amount of present undeserved popularity can rescue it. It's a good line to remember. And now, just a moment for this message. As old Epictetus put it, do not give sentence in another's tribunal until you have been yourself judged in the tribunal of justice. The key to Overcoming the urge to criticize others is to wait. Wait a minute, or an hour, or a day, or forever. Thank you.